So, uh, we have to find people that play the exchange French and we have to punish them. So this guy, Kalatro from Finland, has to be punished. I played the French, knight c3, bishop e4. Yes, the Vinever variation. An interesting game against an international master. But no. E takes d5. This only means one thing. He must be. Terminated. He must be terminated. I must terminate you. Come on. Ah! be terminated. So token D5. Ah, token D5. You must be terminated, come on! Get out of here! You don't play the exchange French! International master, come on! Bishop D3, knight C6. Bishop E3. I don't like this move. Knight F3. Mixing some systems, I think. Uh... Ah, don't cry for me, Argentina! <laughs> Yes, Team Iceland is playing against Team Argentina on Sunday. So that's why I like it too, by uh, putting this song in the queue. I might move it up a little bit just for I like it too, by, who became my first two time subscriber. So for that, we're going to move Madonna and Don't Cry Me Argentina up the queue. So it's next, it's next up in the queue, you. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm. Okay, so I took on C3 because, well, I, I like the imbalance of, of these structures once I take on C3. I need to start on the part of the remake, yeah, come on. I need to get out of here. You can't play the exchange, friends, come on. Get out of here. So, why test the bishop here? But. Very often when you have two knights and the bishop against the bishop pair of knight, you want to trade off your bishop and then one pair of knights, if you can, very often. And that's actually what happened in this game. So I castled, rook b1, hitting my pawn, I played b6, uh, c4. Now it took on d3, because if he takes with the queen, which he didn't do, I will play knight a5, hit this pawn, once he takes, take with the queen. And we get this uh, blockade here. Maybe he plays knight 2 though, but I have it moves like this. I don't know. This is hanging also. So I get knight c4 in. I tend to like these positions, maybe it's nothing special. But he took with the pawn, I played f6, just to restrict the knight, restrict the bishop. Queen d7, and rook c8, just protecting this pawn. In there and now we get a nice pattern he plays rook b5 to attack the pawn but here is yeah your first tactical pattern that i thought was really cool i played a6 now first off the idea is that the queen doesn't have square so i thought this was a nice tactical move can't take the pawn because of this okay so he moved the rook rook back to b2 but then i have another tactic and I've covered this tactic uh, on my YouTube channel. So if you want to be exposed to tactical patterns and useful patterns, you should subscribe to my YouTube. So what's the move here for, for, for black? Well-known tactical motif. What? Wait a minute. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, but okay. So what's the move? Like a tuba. You got it. Easy. Easy tactics. Like a tuba knows it. He won't tell. Don't cry for me, Argentina. When we beat you on Sunday in the live chess world league. Metalikul has... The right idea, knight takes d4. Opening up an attack on the queen, and once he takes, we play the in-betweener, 
der Zwischenzug. Ja, das ist Zwischenzug. Das ist Zug, die play Squishin like the sandwich. Between, first you go there, then you kick him in the balls. Ja, and then takes every check. Ja. He took it. Rook takes d7 and one upon. Game over. Ah, it's not game over, but it's looking pretty good. He played c5, b5. Closing it down for the rooks. And now we have what, what I talked about earlier. A knight against a pretty poor bishop, I believe. So he has to play this, otherwise I can play knight c6, c6. And then just play wherever I want on the board, basically. So he's trying to get something, but rook d6, attacking the pawn. Now d4, hitting the bishop. And then g5, attacking the bishop. And now I saw he wanted to go here. So first I... Uh, Took the pawn. I, I mean, uh, I went for an attack on the pawn in in exchange for my c7 pawn. So I'm still up a pawn. We got some trades here. Bring my king. I had some better moves like 95, but I had a uh, <laughs> kick him, kick him, come on. So no ro no rook d6 because bishop d6, bishop c5 actually at any stage. So now I took. And another useful pattern, the outside pass pawn. If you have two outside pass pawns, that's more important than a protected pass pawn in the middle. So that's what happened. The Turk took h5. h5. So I can make a pass pawn here and here. And he can't deal with both of them with only one pass pawn. The Zipetzuk. I put the Zipetzuk. And then and he, and he, and he moved. And then the Zipetzuk. Yeah, come on! Zip it took! Come on! You can't do what to do with pass pawns. What to do with pass pawns? What to do with pass pawns? Push him, baby. Do you have some Icelandic fish in the fridge? Actually, I don't. I actually haven't had fish for a while. I did have shrimp salad. <laughs> what do you do with past pounds? Sit on them. No, 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 no. You push him, baby. Come on, push him. Come on. Do it. Do it now. It's my life. Oh, we have a 